Hello, hi everyone. Myself, I'm Shweenidhi from Purple Springs. We deal with saffron and its handcrafted products. So today I decided to make a very short video on how to test the saffron which you have purchased as a premium quality saffron or the adult red saffron. Of course, we have posted few pictures and few videos on how to test your saffron in our social media before. But today I would like to explain in detail so that uh, you will get to know how to test your saffron in your home itself. Because many were asking, ma'am, how do you know that your saffron, I mean the saffron which we purchase is the good quality saffron and what are these different grades you are viewing in saffron because there are three grades in saffron so many were asking me uh, how do you grade this saffron and few many I mean few people were asking me why why are you pricing your saffron for I mean the first grade Mugra quality saffron for 700 per gram uh, we feel it is a bit higher price so why do you uh, price it so I would like to explain all these three things so so I decided to make a very short video so that everyone can understand it because before and all we used to post our product images or we used to just simply uh, tell you how to determine the saffron test in a very few steps but in this video I'll explain in detail about the testing as well as why do we price our saffron for 700 and what are these different grades we are harvesting in the saffron so I suggest you to watch this video completely without any skips and uh, one more thing uh, I would like to tell you that I am speaking in English uh, rather than Telugu of course I am a Telugu person but still I am trying to do this video in English because few people who watch this video may not be a Telugu person and cannot understand Telugu so I feel uh, English is a common understandable language for everyone so I am making this video in English thank you uh, so I will quickly move uh, how to I will quickly move to the first step on how to determine your uh, saffron quality see for this uh, we have taken our saffron the saffron which is uh, given from our company purple springs before i will explain you before i explain you about the quality testing of the saffron i would like to give a very a few points on this different grades of saffron so grades of saffron is See, many have doubt like what are these different grades? Does it come from different flowers? No, the saffron comes only from one flower. But the way you harvest the flower uh, makes you the grades in saffron. Either from any indoor cultivation or from the outdoor cultivation in Kashmir. The grades of saffron depends on how you harvest the crop. See, actually there is one flower, purple flower. And from one flower you get three stigmas. And those three stigmas we call it as a pure mogra saffron. The red color stigmas we call it as pure mogra saffron. And for that three red color stigmas, there will be an yellow tail color part attached to it. So when you sell the saffron in the market, along with the red, three red stigmas as well as the tail part, it is called lacha saffron, which is second grade. I'll explain you why mogra is considered as first grade and lacha is considered as second grade. See, when you sell mogra, you should only sell it those three red color stigmas that's it so when you sell only those three red color stigmas for one gram the pure saffron weightage is more but when you sell along with the tail the tail attached to those three stigmas it is called lacha so the tail part is also added into the grams i mean it's also added into the weight so for one gram the pure saffron threads will be less so that is the reason why it has come down to the second grade whereas coming to the third grade when you only sell the third i mean the tail part without any red color stigmas it is called septa so i'll quickly try to show you in a form of picture so you can hope uh, you can see here so this purple flower from one purple flower you get 
this particular saffron the whole thing you get it from one single flower so this red color strings which you can see you get three or four sometimes five from one flower so these three strings originally when you sell it it is called mogra mogra is always a premium quality saffron in the market and it is also priced in premium only the price also of this particular mogra saffron will be very high now the second you can see a tail part attached to this particular tree strand tree stigma so it is called lacha when you sell along the whole thing the red stigmas as well as the tail part attached to it then it is called as lacha so because it adds the tail part adds the weightage so it comes to the second grade and when you sell only the tail part the only this the tail part when you sell only the tail part then it is called sarta so the third grade is very less priced in the market so the premium price is the mogra saffron only the mogra saffron in the market it is uh, high priced and lacha saffron basically we uh, uh, from our company uh, based on customers request only we take down the lacha saffron otherwise uh, we uh, majorly we sell the mogra first grade premium quality saffron so yeah now i think uh, i have given a light idea on how to identify the different grades of saffron now i will tell you in detail on how to test your saffron so for that uh, what i have done is i have taken a few saffron samples uh, in that i have taken one of our sample also uh, we have taken the sa saffron which we have we, which we are selling in the market and what i did is with this saffron i have uh, mixed few adulterants uh, how i mean i i want to show you how adulteration happens actually like what and all they can mix uh, what and all it can be mixed as an adulterants so up to my knowledge what and all adulterants are there i have taken that adulterants like i have taken the turmeric um, peel i have taken the coconut peel i have taken the there's one flower called saff flower so i have taken the stigmas of the saff flower and i have mixed with our saffron and i have kept one pure saffron of ours aside so with our saffron only so i'll just uh, give a very quick view one is the pure saffron mogra saffron without any adulteration then the rest samples what i have done is i have taken our saffron 25 percent and i have mixed with few turmeric pieces and few coconut pieces and added colors and all uh, so with, in that way i just want to show what and all the adulterants will be there and how and all the adulterants are mixed with the saffron now i have placed my samples uh, the first difference i would like to tell you is uh, to identify the saffron is the color difference so i will show you the color difference so based on color you can identify whether the saffron you have is the original mogra quality saffron or not see actually the mogra quality saffron will always be in crimson red color but whereas what happens in the market is the third grade which i have explained you before the zeta the yellow tail color part this one the yellow tail color part what happens is uh, this will be coated with the red foot color and will be sold as the mogra grade saffron so that is one type of adulteration you find in the market so i'll quickly show you uh, the different color differences in the samples which i have placed so you can find the color differences see uh, some uh, this is the saffron from our company uh, it's a pure mogra saffron and you can see this yellow color one this is a zarda saffron what happens is to this zarda saffron uh, the food color is being coated and uh, when it is coated it's gonna be look like in this color it is a little faded red color so this kind of saffron it's a third quality saffron which will be sold as a first grade saffron third quality saffron it's less priced uh, maybe from 250 to 200 rupees per gram but they uh, because of coating by coating the food color uh, they sell it for as mogra saffron for 400 and 450 also so this is one type of adulteration so color difference is one kind of adulteration now uh, you may have one question so there are few samples which I have mixed. Uh, they are crimson red color only. 
So you may ask, so these are original saffrons. No, not all red color strands are original saffron. This may be mixed with some other kind of adult trends like I have told you like turmeric peel, grated coconut and the safflower stigma. So there's many kind of adult trends which they coat with food color. So that looks like crimson red color. So to identify those adult trends, I'll show you how to identify it now. Now I'll show you the next step. Uh, apart from the color difference, I'll try to show you the how to identify the pure saffron. Uh, for that you need just two items, one glass cup or uh, a transparent cup or glass and of course the water. Now I'll add each and every sample in each cup. I'll just two to three strands of saffron is more than enough to test it's either pure or adulterate. So in each and every cup I'm gonna add two to three strands of samples I have with me. And now I'm adding the saffron, pure saffron, Mogla, sent from our company. So don't just stir. So there's a general thing that original saffron, whenever it is dipped inside the water, it doesn't release its color immediately. So if you can see in this cup, the saffron threads have already started releasing its color immediately so this it should not happen and it should slowly release its color very very slowly it should release its color and though it is releasing it slowly uh, after 10 minutes let let's wait for 10 to 15 minutes and i'll tell you how to identify the next step of adulteration hello hello hi Andy. welcome back so as i told you after 15 minutes we are going to check the quality of the saffron so it's been not been 15 minutes actually i left this particular saffron in the water for more than one hour so i'm back here to check uh, i'm back here to show you uh, the difference between original and uh, fake saffron so just uh, you can have a very quick view. You can have a very quick view. See here when see generally what happens is original saffron, though when it is added in water and it is left for one hour or two hours, after releasing its color, it doesn't lose its originality. Means it doesn't lose its uh, red color strand. It doesn't fade away. So this is our saffron, move down saffron. So see, after releasing its color in water also, it is not losing its strand color. So this is how the original saffron should be there. But whereas, can you see the other saffron, after releasing its color, it has uh, lost its original color. I'll just try to place it on the white paper so you can have a clear picture. So this is one sample, yeah. The other thing you can see this has faded to lightish red in color. And the other saffron sample. Sorry. So you can, sorry, just a moment. So yeah. You can have a clear picture on these four saffrons. You can see even after losing its color in water, after releasing of its color in water, the original saffron doesn't lose its strand color. But whereas the other, uh, which I have been, uh, which I have mixed with other adult rents has lost its color. So this is how you have to identify your saffron. I think uh, now uh, after watching this video, you will be able to know the grades and how to test the quality of the saffron in home. Apart from home testing, there is also a lab testing method. 
so where you will get a report of your saffron according to FSSI and ISO, uh, you will be able to find the percentages of that chemical compounds and some physical properties in saffron. So we are trying to upgrade our packaging so that uh, whenever customer buys our saffron, uh, we are trying to provide barcodes on our packaging so that uh, whenever they scan the barcode, they are going to get the test report of uh, our lab testing report of our saffron. Yeah, we are surely trying to upgrade it. Uh, coming to the price of the saffron is of course the Mogra saffron uh, has a very high prices in the market. It is because see from one flower you get three stigmas. So the fresh weight, you, if you remove the fresh weight when you dry it, the dry weight of that three stigmas will be around in milligrams. So if you take 150 flowers, you get one gram of saffron. For getting one kg, you need one lakh fifty thousand flowers, which the flowers never bloom at once. They bloom each and every day. So each and every day, you have to pluck the flowers, you have to separate it, and you have to dry it, you have to process it, and all these matters should happen in a hygienic condition. So it's a very labor-intensive process. So taking all this into the consideration, of course, the Mogra saffron will be at higher prices that is why it is called as a costlier spice in the world and it is also named as indian red gold because its prices are related to gold uh, so that's the reason why the prices of saffron will be very high so there, of course i just want to share you one thing uh, there is also another uh, uh, saying that the saffron the pure saffron when you add in water it doesn't dissolve uh, so, according to my research, uh, so when you add saffron in water, the pure saffron in water, yes, uh, the strands may not dissolve, but when you mix it, uh, when you mix it, uh, when you stir or when you mix it, a few saffron strands will dissolve in water. That is due to uh, less weight of the strands and more weight of the strands. The difference makes them to float or dissolve. But the moment you add in the water, yes, the pure saffron will float in water. And um, the one more thing, as I told you, the pure saffron strands, after releasing its color in the water also, it doesn't lose, uh, lose its original red color. But when you uh, keep that particular saffron in water for more than one day or two days, uh, there will be light fading because uh, the color is getting released and due to uh, the water due to the water long stay of that particular strand in water it may lose light color but within one or two hours no the saffron strands doesn't lose its originality so this is how you have to test uh, thank you for watching this video and one more thing uh, many were asking me uh, could you please tell me how to use the saffron and uh, uh, where it all this saffron can be used. Yes, I, I'll try to make this video separate. Uh, of course, uh, saffron is used in uh, in many ways. It's not only really used by pregnant women. So, under doctor consultation, pregnant women will take saffron. But apart from that, it's used in food uh, dishes for spice, for the flavor, for the coloring. And it is used as a daily routine also. Uh, so I'll try to explain all these in other video. So thank you for watching this video. Hope this video helps in understanding about the saffron spice. Thank you so much.